So a lot of people have been wondering how to get Volcanion in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I've gotten this question at least 40 times, like within the last two days, because everybody has been asking, how do you get Volcanion? And the simple answer is you can't really get it without some kind of cheating device or something like that until April 26th when it's officially released, which by the way, it's only released in Japan on April 26th. There's a video on my channel you can watch about that that sort of gives you more information towards that But basically what I'm gonna do for you guys today is number one let you know that on April 26 We're actually gonna be giving out the Japanese Volcanions here on the channel on a wonder trade slash GTS stream And second of all, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get Volcanion early before release if you have the certain capabilities and hardware to do so again, this video does require the use of power saves so Please don't, like, flame me in the comments, because I know there's gonna be some people who say, This video is misleading! Wow! No. I, I- I just told you. <laughs> I just told you. Anyway, let's get right into the tutorial today for those of you who are waiting to know. Alrighty, so the next step to what you're gonna need to do here in order to get yourself your Volcanion is make sure you save your game, just stay in front of any Pokemon Center, and go ahead and suspend your software and close your game. And then once you're done with that, you're going to eject it from your 3DS itself. And then you're going to take it from there and put it inside your power saves. And then we're gonna load that up on the computer. Now I already know that there's people in the comment section asking me this exact question or these exact questions. What is a power save? Where the f do I get one? And how much does it cost? First of all, the internet. It's really, really easy to figure it out. But if you don't know how to get one, and you really need some help with it, there will be a video linked in the description. I And I promise you that it should help you in every single way, shape, or form. It is a totally legitimate tutorial, and um, you, you, you should definitely uh, be solving some problems after you watch that. Alright, so to get into what we were gonna do, uh, basically, it has changed up a little bit since the last time I made a tutorial for this. Uh, the last time we did this, we did a Master Ball code, which was basically you spawn in yourself uh, 999 Master Balls, which is right here. Uh, wait, where is it? Uh, uh, there you go, Master Balls, and then you do that, you, and then you do uh, 999 of it, and then you gotta discard some, and then there was another code that you could enter in, and it was just, it was too long of a process, but this one is much, much easier. Whilst you can also do a ton of other things in Power Saves, I have a lot of other Power Saves tutorials on the channel. They'll all be linked in the description and on cards on the screen, so you can, like, check them all out if you're confused. What we're gonna be focusing on today is the Wonder Card section. So if you click Wonder Card Slot 1 Codes, what you're gonna do is find the Oras Wonder Cards, including Legit Hoopa. You can see all through here, there's a ton of different ones that you can pick and all that stuff. There's a lot here. Uh, you've got the fake Wonder Cards. Uh, you've got the Legacy Wonder Cards. Uh, you're not gonna pay attention to those, actually. And I don't really think you're gonna pay attention to these. You need, ah, uh, this one right here. There you go, sorry, I was trying to find it. Fake Wonder Cards, which these ones are made by the people, I guess, at Daytel or uh, Power Saves, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, but basically, you have Volcanion and Volcanion Shiny. Now, Considering Volcanion when it's first released is probably going to be shiny locked. It might be cooler if you get a shiny one. You can totally do that. You see what a regular one looks like already. So I guess I'll show off the shiny version of it as well. Um, but you can pick whichever one you want. You won't be able to bring it online. But once you pick which one you want, go ahead and save your game or save your progress by updating your save file. And then once it's done, you're going to take your cartridge out of your power saves and load your 3DS back up. Alright, so as you can see here, we've got Omega Ruby loaded back up. Now, the, like, like I was saying before, you cannot take these online by any means. Uh, they are completely, like, banned from being online at the minute. I don't know if you'll be able to in the future. I guess when it's finally released, you might be able to bring these ones online. But I think because of the way these specific Volcanians are made into the game, uh, with their coding and all that, I don't know if they'll be legal to be taken online. I think only the specific event ones will. But as time goes on, we'll know more about when you can take Volcanion online officially and all that stuff. But nevertheless, you're going to go talk to this woman in blue. And she's going to say, good day, you must be Jason Plays Pokemon or whatever your name is in the game. I've got a mystery gift here with your name on it. Here you are. Oh, but my party's full. Of course it is. Um, um, and I'll show you guys the stats on all this and whatnot so you can see for yourself. But like I was saying, you cannot take this one online. You can only use it in-game for now, so just be mindful of that when you're, uh, when you're trying to, uh, get one of these in your game and all that. I got some Zygarde's in here and whatnot left over. But we're gonna go get that second one, or that second Volcanion, and then we're gonna show off both the regular and the non-shiny one. But as you can see here, we received Volcanion from the woman in blue and all that cool stuff. 
And we'll actually go ahead and take a look at it right now. We've got two Volcanians in the party. One down there and one up here. One's asleep. God damn it, Requise. All right, let's go to summary. So we've got the regular one here that I, I, I've i had for a while. I made this one on myself like over a year ago, actually. So this one, this guy's been with me for quite a while. Um, and then we have the one that we just spawned, which is actually shiny. It's a gold Volcanion, which is, I honestly, I love this thing's color scheme when it's gold. It looks, or when it's gold, but it's shiny. Gold Volcanion looks so cool, man. It looks amazing. Um, I love this one for sure. Water Absorb, it's got the OTAR, which stands for Action Replay. I think you might be able to soft reset for the, uh, the nature on it. It looks like it's got itself a, uh, impish nature, which is, I guess, decent, but it's not amazing considering this thing is a special attacker. I, I guess it could be mixed honestly but even so it looks like it's definitely way more of a special attacker regardless it has all these moves and all that cool stuff it's got the id number 1337 and now what you can do is you can go and battle and use these uh you cannot take them online and i'll even show you proof of that that you cannot take these guys online and it will not let you uh we're gonna go quickly jump into a battle real fast and then i'll show you guys what it's like to use these dudes in action all right, cool. So we got a double battle right here, which is really awesome because we'll get to show off both Volganians at once. Unfortunately, one of them is actually asleep, but it's all good. It's all good. I wonder what level these guys will be. Oh, God. All right, so we got Requisa Volcanion. We got Shiny Volcanion and regular Volcanion here to showcase for you dudes. We got the shiny sparkles and all that. Uh, the first one's asleep, so we're just going to actually wake him up with a full heal because that's the easiest thing to do at this moment in time. And then with the other Volcania, we're going to just go ahead and explode because why not? That might take out everybody on the... Actually, I don't think it'll take out my regular Volcania. But regardless, we'll see how much this does just for fun. It's going to explode, kill everybody, and all that cool stuff. No battle animation, unfortunately. I forgot to turn those back on from when I was shoddy hunting. But that kills off both the enemies and all that cool stuff, so that's good to go. Uh, but you can use these online, or you can't use these online, like I said, but you can use these in-game. So you can take on the Elite Four with them. You can do rematches. You can do whatever you want with them. Shiny Hunt doesn't matter. You can do whatever you'd like, but you just cannot take them online because it's not an actual... Technically, it's not actually in the game yet. So, unfortunately, you can't really do that. But even to uh, further prove my point... For those of you who are still watching the video at this point, we're going to go connect to the internet real fast, and I'll show you guys by trying to go on Battle Spot that it is impossible to take these guys online. So now we're on Battle Spot, it's going to check the SD card and all that good stuff. Let's just do single, uh, and we're going to go in party here. And it's going to give us the error that says, there's at least one Pokemon that is not able to participate. Please check PokemonGlobalLink.com for details and all that good stuff. And that would be Volcanion. So you cannot bring it online yet. When you can officially use them online, there will be a video on my channel announcing all the latest news once it is officially released. Again, live stream going to be on the channel on April 26th when a Volcanion is officially released. Try and get yourself a regular Volcanion from the Japanese movie event. That'll be very cool. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, by the way. My name is Jace Boys Pokemon, and I will see all you dudes in the next one. Bye!